All right, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about OS 10 maintenance myths. And this video was inspired by an article in Macworld. And I'll post a link to this in the video notes as well. Now, if you're coming from a Windows background, you're probably familiar with having to defragment your hard drive every couple of months in order to reclaim speed and performance. OS 10 is largely immune to the effects of file fragmentation for a couple of reasons. First, the underlying file system, HFS Plus, is quite good at avoiding file fragmentation. Second, ever since Mac OS version 10.3, the operating system has had access to on-the-fly file defragmentation. A couple of conditions have to be met before on-the-fly defragmentation takes place. First, the file is less than 20 megabytes in size. The file isn't already busy. The file is not marked as read-only. The file has to take up a certain amount of disk space. In this case, it extends. And lastly, the system has to be up and running for at least three minutes. Because of the file size limitation, large media files such as uncompressed audio or digital video are ineligible for on-the-fly defragmentation. However, OS 10 system files and application bundles are generally optimized when read back from disk. In using iTunes as an example, we'll see that the application bundle is consuming roughly 36 megabytes on my hard drive. And because of the file size limitation, one would suspect that iTunes itself is not optimized. However, if we look a little more closely and show package contents, we'll see that iTunes is actually comprised of a series of folders and subfolders. Inside of this, we'll see that the actual iTunes executable file weighs in at 17 megabytes, which is just under the 20 megabyte file size limitation, and therefore iTunes is automatically optimized when read back from my hard drive. One of the most hotly contested maintenance myths is that you should repair permissions regularly in order to maintain the stability of your OS. In fact, repairing permissions has little, if anything, to do with the stability of your system. And in fact, the article suggests that repairing permissions should only be done as a troubleshooting tool rather than a regular maintenance task. Another common misconception is you need to run the Unix maintenance scripts. These can be invoked by either using a utility such as Onyx, or if you're comfortable with the terminal, you can manually type in the command sudo periodic monthly daily weekly. Executing this command will run the main maintenance script, which involves cleaning out old log files, temporary files, as well as rebuilding Unix's locate and what is databases. Unless you're a hardcore command line Unix junkie, you really don't have to worry about rebuilding the databases. And if anything, you can run the script once every couple of months to reclaim some disk space and clean up the old log files and temporary files on your hard drive. The last item I would like to address is you should consistently clean your caches. Many people recommend deleting cache files as regular maintenance, arguing that those files sometimes become corrupt. However, cache files exist for a reason, mostly to improve system performance. Deleting them means that they won't be available and your Mac will have to recreate them from scratch. If anything, I would recommend deleting your cache files more so as a troubleshooting step rather than as a regular maintenance routine if only to make sure that your Mac runs as quickly as possible with those cache files in place. In closing, I find that using OS X is very unobtrusive. I don't have to worry about defragging my hard drive, cleaning the system registry, or uninstalling programs by using the control panel applet. I just start using my computer and the OS is very transparent to what I want to do. Alright, so that's about it. Peace.